Hello, Doc Two fans, and, and welcome and, and welcome to Red Nose Day 2024. I hope you I hope you're enjoying your Red Nose Day, and I hope you're fundraising public relief in any way you can. There will be donation links in the uh, description of this video for those who want to, you know, continue to donate for Red Nose Day. Because obviously, we want to make sure we give as much money as we can for the charity as they're helping people in Africa as well as possibly Ukraine and the UK as well. So they want to help as many people as they can um, this year, especially given the fact that Red Nose Day loves to support people during these these hard times. Uh, but I thought it would be a great opportunity to look back at some previous sketches that Doctor Who has been involved with when it comes to Red Nose Day. They've had some pretty incredible uh, sketches over the years, even though they were very brief, but they at least were a part of Red Nose Day in some capacity. So make sure to like and subscribe, and we're going to kick things off by taking us all the way back to to the to 1999 when BBC aired the very first the first comic relief original Doctor Who story, The Curse of Fatal Death, where they actually got some Hollywood stars to appear as the Doctor, Hugh Grant, to name one of them, and Joanna Luby as the as the so called female Doctor, even though even though they. Yeah, they made it like it was an official thing, even though it was meant to be like a comedy uh, style of Doctor Who. But nevertheless, Hugh Grant was um, was playing the Doctor in this one, along with Richard E. Grant, who actually also appears in this, even though he does appear a few, uh, does play the Doctor in the animation series in a mini animated series back in two thousand and three. Uh, but then he also appeared as the Great Intelligence several years later. So that was pretty cool. They they did that in 1999 to celebrate the the new millennium, you know, to prepare for the new millennium that was ahead. And then, of course, in 2007, we had David Tennant and Catherine Tate appear together for the Catherine Tate show because obviously David Tennant was a huge fan of Catherine Tate's work, so he got to appear um, as Lauren Cooper's teacher, Mr. Logan. Even though uh, Lauren was obviously making Doctor Who quotes, and then of course, um, and then of course, he turned her into an action figure of Rose, which I thought was really so. That was a really funny moment uh, when they did the whole Catherine Tate with David Tate and Catherine, uh, David Tate and Catherine Tate. Obviously, at the time when Catherine Tate was uh, being announced as the companion, well, well, just before she was announced to be returning with David Tennant to Doctor Who for the following year. And then in 2009, they gave us a mini episode of the Sarah Jane Adventures from Rex Rexacora Fabulous with Love, where Roddy Corbett, uh, this was one of his last few appearances on the telly, uh, along with his special he did in 2010. Uh, this was like the beginning of his final road uh, road trip uh, across the BBC uh, for Roddy Corbett, because the, we're in his final years of, of uh, basically acting and stuff. Uh, when he got to guest star with Sarah Jane for the Sarah Jane Adventures for Red Nose Day, which was really cool that they managed to get him on board to work with Elizabeth Slayton, which was nice. And then, of course, in 2011, we had a two mini episodes, Space and Time. Matt Smith was the Doctor, of course, along with Taryn Gillen, Arthur Darfield as Amy and Rory, who got to appear with him uh, in this two-part mini-sode. Uh, episodes of Doctor Who that they made for the 2011 Red Nose Day, which was really nice. And then Matt Smith would then reappear to the show to do a comedy sketch combining elements of Call the Midwife, One Born Every Minute, and of course Doctor Who, where they actually had members of Call the Midwife appear alongside the show. And then they also did a um, sort of a, like a, I guess you could say the Doctor Needs Your Help sketch where um, Jodie Whittaker did a message for to urge fans to want to, you know, as the Doctor, urging fans to donate, which was what she did in 2019, uh, following her, you know, in the build up to her first series as the new Doctor, and then in, then they did 2020 the movie where Jodie Whittaker would appear on Red Nose Day again, this time with Mandip Jill, which was one of her companions, uh, for the 2012 uh, Red Nose Day, which was nice. And then, and then last year, they did a whole sketch where Lenny Henry regenerates into David Tennant, who was playing the 14th Doctor for last year's 60th anniversary. And then Graham Norton even uh, did a whole all-star, a star-studded Eurovision audition where a Dalek would appear, voiced by Nicholas Briggs, obviously voicing the Daleks, which was really nice. And, and in fact, this was probably the only time we saw the Daleks last year because they weren't featured in Doctor Who last year, so... This was the only time you got to see the Daleks since the uh, since Jodie Whittaker's finale as the Doctor. So yes, the Daleks um, 
no longer um obviously no haven't been seen since since the power of the doctor so we haven't seen any daleks since then which is really uh crazy isn't it crazy to think the daleks would disappear and they're having a massive break uh obviously in russell's uh request so yeah with that said let me know in the uh, comment section what sketches did you enjoy in the in the previous years of red nose day i'm hoping there's going to be some stuff for doctor who this time around and uh, well for this year as well but i think the chances are there's probably not going to be any mentions of doctor who. i think they're saving it for easter when they advertise the new series with shooting gap where billy gibson so chances are we're probably not going to hear anything till then anyway so with that said i hope you guys have a great red nose day and enjoy the show later tonight 7 p.m if you want to see David Tennant as the present, uh, presenting Red Nose Day and hoping to raise as much money as possible. And um, yeah, again, donation um, links will be in the description for those who want to donate to Comet Relief in 2024. And you can get your Red Noses as well. There'll be a link in the description to Amazon if you want to buy your Red Noses ready for tonight. Or, well, well, if you want to still buy your Red Nose merch, obviously. So thanks for watching, and I will catch you all um, catch you all in the Easter special that we're going to be doing, uh, where we're going to hopefully be reviewing the new trailer for the six, for the new series of Doctor Who, hopefully. So, see you then. <laughs>